Good afternoon slash evening slash morning slash morning. Welcome uh, back. To yeah. The Low IQ podcast. Fucking Merry Christmas. We said that last time, but New Year's. Happy New Year's. Happy <laughs> Merry Christmas. Happy all through. of it. Happy Hanukkah. Hon- Happy Hanukkah. Hanukkah. Whatever that is. All, this, all the celebrations. Chinese New Year. Happy Chinese New Year. We have a very fucking special guest today. We Who do. are you? My name's Daniel O'Reilly, a.k.a. Dapper Laughs. Dapper Laughs. Now, I never knew his I actual know. name. Yeah, Dan. Dan. From back, I'm from back in the day. Back in the, back in the you're day. You're OG. You, you're like content creators 2.0. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah, we are. Yeah, we're much younger now, so it's yeah, fine yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, did, I was going to ask, how yeah. old are you, boys? Go on, guess. Guess. You're young, ain't you? You still got that fresh, fresh glow, that fresh, fresh smell, that fresh, fresh um, pheromones. You haven't, done, you haven't had too much fame and done too much drugs yet. Mm. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Twenty two. Two. Hey, yeah. Hey, okay. Hey, we're different. Hey, you're different younger. Age. You're like twenty two, and you're like twenty five. Oh, very close. If you add one to each of those, you would be you're bang oh, on. Twenty three and twenty six. Well, you can do maths. Yeah, you can, do maths. <laughs> you can do it. Yeah. So, <laughs> and your, can we guess your age? Oh, mate, go on then. 50. <laughs> Fucking hell. No, uh, no, I reckon... we got to figure this out based um, on yeah. wrinkles. Mm. Based on wrinkle. Isn't there a way you can figure out someone's age based on wrinkles? No, that's yes. like a tree. That's trees. Yeah, you got to cut, cut my head off and count cut, the rings in me. Count, count the, the rings in his neck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I would say you're um, 38. That's close. I'm 39. Oh, Fuck, I didn't I'm guess. getting old, boys. That's yeah. Old. Do you know what I mean? And I'll be honest with you, when I watch your content online, I think, fuck, I remember them days, man. Really? Yeah. 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 When, I, when I had my finger on the pulse, now I'm just Fingers trying to stay relevant. The <laughs> I mean, it's hard. Yeah. Well, you, you do stand up now, yeah. you said, mm. and yeah, you're yeah. doing it after this. Yeah, yeah. Actually, but, down the road. Yeah, yeah. How was that? Yeah, great, Transition. man. I was originally a stand up comedian, and then I found Vine. It was Vine before TikTok. Was that where you started on? Have you ever yeah. seen Vine? Have you heard I of was, it? Uh, yeah, bro. I had a thousand followers on Vine. Really? <laughs> I've, got, I've got a story about Vine. I forgot about this. Go on. Sorry to cut no, you off on, quickly, mate. but um, I'll forget <laughs> it otherwise. Uh, when I did Vine, this is nuts. And I, I, own, I was speaking to someone about this the other day, and they were like, this is mental. Why didn't you think of this? But when I was a kid, mm. like Vine back in the day, when was Vine? Fucking 2012. So 30. I would have, mm. so I was 12, right? Mm. In Fuck, the Vine right. eras and I was making Vines. Anyway, so I did a video where me and my boys, we'd go to like a room mm. and we'd wedgie them until like you can see their ass cheek. Why would you do this? We were like, oh, this is brilliant content, mate. So <laughs> For the pedophiles, yeah. Well, this is where it gets interesting. Th- that was like my most viewed video. Right. And okay. there was He's been watching yeah. it over and over. <laughs> well, that's there what was, I know there was loads of comments <laughs> from these like older guys being like, oh, we need a part two. We need a part three. <sighs> and it's only recently. So I did loads of these episodes of wedging my <laughs> friends and getting their asses just, out. Now you look back, you realize you were 12 year old and they were getting probably nonstop. They were probably priests or something. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. They all were the priests were watching. My I didn't oh. know that. That's where I get all my followers from. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nonsense. Right. Did you get any messages? Um, I don't think there was a messaging thing about it. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure. I think it was connected to Kick or something, but that was the original. Yeah. That was the that was the first one to where you could collect followers, really. Is that what where I mean? you blew up then? It was, yeah, I blew up on that. Me and a couple of other lads from the UK became quite big on that. Um, I mean, I say big, it was probably, uh, you know, just close to five, half a million followers, but at the time it was big. But that's and then they, it will be. Yeah, on Vine, and they shut that down, and then I moved to Snapchat, got a couple of million on there, and then Facebook, and then Facebook. Oh, you were big you, on Facebook. That's where you saw me probably, I, was, yep. I think I was one of the first to hit a million on Facebook, which was kind of unheard of. It was like when, it was when, when, you, when you could just start becoming like a, like the only other million on there was like Disney or fucking Sony or something like that. Wow. Mm. So that was big. And then I got a TV show and all that jazz. That, yeah, how did that? come about uh well it's the first time that they 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 saw an audience really and they thought mm. right we can take the audience and get it to watch yeah. a tv show but it didn't go very well yeah, it was a tv show it was called dapper laughs on the pool yeah yeah and like your humor right, right it's very similar it's, it's close to the market it's naughty and that's yeah. like what my stuff was it was like the, the sort of shit that you boys do with your mates and say with your mates mm. you know I created that online, mm-hmm. but a lot of it was about shagging birds and pulling yeah, birds and yeah. all like of that HS. stuff. HS, you're like the old HS. You know HS Tiki Toki? I do, know, yeah, me and him had a little bit of a thing. Did, uh, did you? Yeah. What happened there? I don't remember, oh, I don't remember man, that. Oh man, he was he, he was saying that, um, you know, because I do a lot of stuff on men's mental health because I've, I've been through Oh some, yes, I did see We that. need to yeah. go back to that, on. by the way, as well. Yeah, we, yeah. we had a bit of a beef because I called him out on one of his videos. I remember. Yeah. He said um, he 
doesn't believe that people people over in Dubai don't have mental health oh, yeah. and yeah. all of that stuff. Yeah. yeah so so I've done a video sort of mugging him off and but I've got to say he don't he doesn't give a shit mate no, like he, he don't sh- care like about the hate or not I ended up DMing him like we were DMing mm. and talking to each other he was sound enough and we yeah. just had a bit of back and forth it didn't get serious do you know what I mean but he yeah. doesn't care he don't I, care yeah. and and the thing is as well but he's he's very smart in a way where he gets his mm. money I don't know yeah. how the fuck he gets his money yeah. anymore but he won't be getting any brand deals yeah. he won't be getting anything no, like don't. that I think he, I don't know. Do you know what he does? He I, does like, I wouldn't like to speculate, but whatever he does, he does well. He spun yeah. that whole thing, that whole beef, kind of little beef that we had into some form of money making thing. He always yeah. does. Yeah, it was He's good. very clever. He's yeah. smart at the whole marketing thing. He's mm. fucking that. smart. Yeah. Like Jake Paul, mm. he likes being hated because it makes him more money. Did you, yeah. cause you've gone through a thing with like cancel culture. I got, I'm like the, I'm like the fucking poster boy for, can- I'm like, I'm not patient you zero. Get, get resurrected like yeah, Jesus. Yeah, yeah. But you, because I think even my parents, you were on like the news, right? Yeah, oh, I mate, think- I was on, I was on, uh, do you know, you know, Newsnight, mm. Newsnight on Channel 4. Okay. Mm. Oh, I yeah. was on Newsnight, mate, apologising. You in, apologize In a for- turtleneck. I had to, yeah. I'm- for what? Right, so you want to go into it? <laughs> yeah. Well, it's a mad of- one. It's oh, a mad okay. One. Yeah, I'm right. excited. I, I didn't yeah. see this. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy, right? So but, uh, just, I think it like... Because you almost, you were like a household name. Yeah. But my parents, were yeah, talking, yeah. they were I like, hate you... it that you're saying his parents. No, no yeah, actually, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah. Like, no, yeah, I mean, like, look, I was on TV, I was in Big Brother. Mm, I've done yeah. a bit of Celebrity Big Brother. Yeah, we'll talk about that as well. Yeah, I've done a load of t- uh, tours and stuff like that. It's taken 10 years for me to get back to a position now where I'm on tour. I've got a 30 day tour coming up. Wow. But for 10 years, the venue. Stand up tour. Stand up right? tour, yeah. For 10 years, the venues, because my last tour got cancelled. I'll tell you how, how it all happened. Go Basically, on. Oh, on my TV show was like, is that? laughs on the pool where I was teaching geezers with comedy how to nick birds mm. right so I was giving them a makeover mm. um, you know taking like no hopers and then giving them jokes to go into bars and like chat up girls and we had like hidden cameras it was fucking brilliant yeah, right? yeah. I wrote it and imagine you lads right all of a sudden you get you're young I was young back then I got a TV show um, on ITV2 about pulling oh, birds mate yeah, and I was yeah. single I was out It was. Okay, I was yeah, fucking yeah. living the dream and how old were you from social media from, that? just from social media it went Vine it went Vine Snapchat at Facebook and then wow. TV. And how old were you at this time? Um, got it. Well, I don't know. 20, 20 late twenties, late 20, 27, 28, something okay, like that. Okay. Maybe a little bit. Sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And um, but no, I was living the dream. I was doing like nightclub appearances, stand up comedy, and all that. But the press hated the TV show. They they mm. thought it was misogynistic, right? Because mm. the character Dapper Last was, you know, shagging birds and yeah, all of this yeah, stuff. Yeah. Not quite as heavy as some of the you know like HS and that do on yeah, their live streams yeah. but comedy wise anyway 60,000 people signed a petition to cancel my TV show then 60,000 yeah, is a lot and then I had uh, then I had um, I had like a massive sold, sold out UK tour with a huge advance they'd paid me that, yeah. um, they, they started petitioning all the venues the press so they cancelled the tour oh my god yeah. and then all my appearances cancelled then they tried to shut down my social media accounts but it was back when so they couldn't do it but my, then my manager dropped me then I got sued and then, oh. my dad, and then my dad died all in the space oh, of fuck's it's sake. like two months so it was fucking, all in the space of two months it was fucking heavy mate. so how because I mean like we, we've talked about like the impact it has like we, when, when that whole Twitter thing was happening yeah how, I mean and that's to an extreme level yeah. Yours is. how did that like affect you mate it was bad it, honestly I, it was it, I talk a lot about it on my on my social media now that I'm out the other end of it but I used to drink and like sesh right I used to mm. get on the gear and everything like that just because just it, it was part of our culture me and the boys every weekend and stuff like that growing up but when I went through that Mm. everything changed for me I turned like my drinking and my using coke and stuff like that I do it on my own do you know what I mean so mm. it went from like partying mm. to coping well, with life becoming more of an issue then. yeah and then well, it turned into an addiction and then mm. but through the whole time I was trying to rebuild my career yeah, but yeah. my dad's death just really just it, that was a, yeah. I think really? it just yeah. sent it was like fucking the old world's going on so it sent me west but oh, I pulled myself out of it and then slowly you know it took me a long time to get sober but um i'm pro- i'm full on sober now so i don't drink or nothing how long's it been oh that's that's oh, really that's good used, yeah yeah how yeah, long's so, it been so sober? sober i'm only cause for my second stint now i'm only sober 425 days so it's like just over a year <laughs> that's that's good. yeah it's good it's all right it's all right it's a bit, it's a bit right. weird because is it uh, yeah man because i love a party yeah, and, like, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like ingrained in me but it's just not good for me do people now you don't drink do people try and like or do you have the right mates around you 
Do you know what I mean? I, I had to, I had to completely change kind of my social circle. It was difficult, mm, but I got, yeah. I got two. Li- I'm different from you boys. I got two little baby girls. Yeah. So yeah, like yeah. a couple of years ago, I was like, mate, you know, yeah, yeah. just give it up. Like you know okay. that lifestyle. Did you Have do you, it on your own? Sorry. Um, I did it first. Uh, but um, well, I had to go away for a little while to like a little rehab thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. sick. Where'd you go? Yeah, it's sick. <laughs> oh, no, no, yeah, but no, no. But I think if I was in that position, yeah, yeah. I would because you were single at the time, weren't yeah. you? No, this was a couple of years ago. Mm, mm. A bit harder then. Why? What are you saying, sick? Because if you're single going to rehab, all the girls are going <laughs> to no, be like no, easy. This is all the not what I'm saying. They're all accessible. <laughs> yeah, they're yeah, like, they're easy. Right, you know what I got in my room? Some drink. <laughs> <laughs> no, what I was going to say is. If I was single, right, and then I was going through all these yeah. shit things, I would fly to Thailand yeah. or like one of these Buddhist mm. countries and I'll do a little retreat there, you know, when they cross their legs and they do yeah, all this yeah, shit yeah. and they meditate. That'd be sick. That'd yeah, be cool. yeah. Mm. Do you know what the mad thing is? It's like everyone thinks like addiction and stuff like that. It's like, oh, when you think of it, you think of someone that's like sat in the gutter with like a bottle of vodka and they're like fucked. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. When really all it is is people that drink too much like in general and then shit goes wrong in their life and, and they fucking gravitate to it. Yeah. So it's just about changing your habits. I saw, I think it was a Steve-O podcast because he, he mm. had, oh yeah, he had massive, yeah, yeah. but he said that he feels like he'll never get rid of the addiction. No, you, it's, it, yeah, it's mad. It's like you, you only become an addict when you stop. Yeah. Really? Yeah, because, oh like, yeah, because you're not feeling like, it. You're not feeling it. Like now, like coming into London, like, look, for my kid, like my missus would leave me if I started again because I caused mm. carnage. Yeah, yeah like right. I'd just fucking be out of the weekends going what? Like it still gets me excited thinking about. Oh, uh, he's what? loving it. Yeah, but, get but, him a point. No, get him no, a point. No, let's liven this podcast up. <laughs> but um, but no, I, I love my wife and I've got two beautiful kids. It's just that life's over for me. But um, coming into London, mm. like it's a trigger. Is it like the lights when it gets dark? The lights and Christmas Buzz is it. coming. Mm. I'm Buzz like, it. no one would know. But, <laughs> but no. so um, I got. Question. Yeah. With addiction, right? You're addicted mm. to uh, alcohol. Yeah. So I don't like the taste of tequila. What, yeah. what was you addicted on? Was it beer? No, nah, it's it's so the weird. Beer. It's so weird, right? Because the addiction for me was like, I'm just an addict, right? So right. anything in excess. So for instance, mm. like for me, it wasn't, it's not really the drink or the drugs. It's the escapism of it. Mm. So, oh. so, so it's not like the frequency of when I use, cause I could mm. go weeks or two weeks without using. But if I started drinking right now, mm. I'll get annihilated. Do you know what I mean? Just on one taste. Oh yeah. I'd start and then it would, you know, it's like, yeah. it's like you're allergic to it. You know, right. you'll see people around you, mm. like in your group, that when they start drinking, they get fucked. Yeah, yeah. They're yeah, the ones yeah. you've got to watch out for. Because when shit oh. goes wrong in their life, they'll go to it. They'll go to it, yeah. Um, so do you like- Anything, I drink anything. And <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Drugs wise, it was just cocaine though. Okay. Do you um, do you like the taste of alcohol? No, I don't. Well, well you know. no, not really, no. Because like now, I, like now I drink alcohol free beers, but I'll only have like one and then I'm like, mm. this stuff's shit. Really? Does that so not weird. make you want another one though? Like tasting yeah. the beer? No, no. Like, no, but I've got, my head, I've got my head around it now. What I know, I realised what it is. What I, what I was always seeking was oblivion. You know, I didn't, well, addiction is just not being comfortable in your own skin. Like you mm. don't, like you, you just, I wasn't, it? that's why I created so many characters. Like, mm. you know, I've got like Kid Frankie, the Sesh Gremlin. I've got all these different characters and like Dapper Laughs. It's just escapism from being me because, at, before, like now I'm used to myself, but before just sitting and being myself, I was agitated. So I, I get like scared about this in a way mm. because as some people say to us, mm. I don't know how you feel on this, right? Mm. That, um, oh yeah, uh, obviously the, the happiest person in the room, you make all these mm. jokes and all mm. these videos, but how actually are you? Yeah. Luckily, yeah. I'm actually... Mm. like really happy yeah no I, no, I am like, I'm not, yeah. not bragging to you mate I'm really happy you're <laughs> yeah, yeah, fucking yeah. I'm happy now I'm <laughs> no, happy I know, now yeah. um, but, but yeah. I'm really happy but I wonder if I'll ever feel de- like depressed yeah. like oh I guess when my fucking parents die yeah or, or shit like stuff that stuff like that yeah. like what will happen you know I'm a bit scared of that mm. what do you think don't you don't you get anxiety from oh yeah Hello. you do yeah, yeah like especially bit. from especially when you get big numbers on some videos low numbers on other videos loads of love loads of like too much love if you focus like because I'm yeah. the same my, I mean my numbers aren't like your numbers are now but but I still have my fan base and like too much love is not good for you as well I had I yeah. had a weird period where I thought like the same thing like 
when you're looking at all these comments, I thought people were like, you know, these people on social media now, which everyone like pretends they like, mm. but they don't actually like. I don't want to name names, but you know what I mean? I was like, people would comment like, oh, you're so... Just to get a response when they don't even mean yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I yeah. thought people were like almost making fun of me. You know yeah. what I mean? And I had that in my head oh, for ages yeah. and I'd always think about it. Yeah. But I get the same thing. I get well anxious about yeah. like all this stuff. And especially when something bad happens. Yeah. I mean, I would be messaging you all the time. Mm. Yeah. Um, it's that. That's what's going to... That's what fucks your mental health and that's what I battled with for years mm. and now like what it is is you've got to do it for the art right mm -hmm. because one day you, you, you won't always go like that at some oh, point mate, it will plateau and then hopefully it won't but at some point it down. plateau and it might go like that and then there's a new there's a new phase a new thing but you'll have always have a core cool fan base yeah and, and what I've seen so so much with so many of the content creators out there that they get addicted with the growth they get addicted with the big numbers mm. it's like dopamine dopamine like it's like it's it's it's, it's, it's like the universe's work, way of telling them they're doing good that they forget that that, that they're a genius yeah and that yeah. it's about the art form and it's about like like I said you on the way up here that joke the, one of the ones I saw you know the gender reveal yeah. I honestly as a co I, as a comedian like I I I, I, I pride it. myself on my comedy writing my ideas I'm an ideas man I, I, I used yeah, to think I no one that. has better ideas than me mm, but yeah. some of your ideas I think fuck I wish I thought of that, that I always was, think that, that, that yeah. that's the key right yeah, but always yeah. hold on to that don't look at the fucking numbers if you come up with a good idea and you put it out there and the way that you get your head around that is you've just got to remember you're normal yeah you oh, can't 100%. you've got to remember 100%. you're normal you can't be like oh man what the numbers are dropping, but I'm a fucking genius. Or when someone says something horrible to you, you know, mm. you can't, you can't, you, if you put yourself on the pedestal, it's like, you've got to just be like, you know, I'm blagging a living here. I'm blagging yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, I, oh, this is the same with me. Like when, when I go out, I love that. I do think like this in terms of like, when people come up to me and stuff mm. and they're having a conversation, I do have a conversation back obviously. And then mm. they're like, Oh, uh, Oh, you, you actually seem quite nice. You use, cause a lot of TikTokers or a lot of people mm. in the public eye would, uh, be dicks mm. and I'm like oh, I like, sort of like pride myself yeah. on yeah that. you've got to but and I used to be when I got the TV show it all happened very quick for me I actually thought I was famous yeah, and that's I, the yeah, worst I, thing I, that's I the worst thing because I thought I was famous so I, I didn't used to be a dick to anyone else but if anyone was a dick to me because I thought I was famous I was like they yeah, you me up. You think you're entitled? Yeah, you? I had to lose everything in Good, order yeah. to in order to be a little bit more like fucking. Oh, you're just blagging a living, mate. Like you're blessed. Yeah, like, yeah, literally. Yeah, to, yeah, even, yeah. to even be fuck to even have people watching your shit, you're blessed. A hundred percent. Like yeah. um, that's what we think all the time. Yeah. Isn't well, it? I always think that as well. Like um, you get this weird thing in this industry. Like when I first started, I I would if I got like. 5k views I would like I would, my whole day would be made up yeah. and like you said I'd get that crazy dopamine rush mm. and it would entice me to do more I'd be like oh I want to do that again I want to do that again yeah. but then the bigger you get it, it, the, the numbers mm. keep increasing so like it got mm. to a point where like if I didn't get a million views Mm. I'd, I'd just feel shit the yeah, whole day that, and that's the that's the problem that's a form of addiction mm. that, uh, yeah yeah it's, 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 your reward center is getting like fucking saturated I, I, I still look I still, I'm still guilty of it now I put something up and I'll be like if it if it if the buzz isn't the same I'm like, oh man, I thought that was going to be like the mm. one. And it, yeah, you, still you can't help it because yeah, yeah, we are creative. Yeah. You just got to be aware of it. That's all. You just got to play. Well, you still kind of have to. I still Because can't. if a, a video doesn't reach a million views on TikTok, you'll delete it straight away. Mm. Within like 20 minutes, if it's not doing really well, you'll just delete it. But, it. but I have this thing as well. Like when, when I make a video, I don't know whether it's like a perfectionist thing because Isaac has the same thing. He will do the yeah. same video a hundred times and there's something in his head that he just feels like, oh, it works now. But I'll get yeah. it and I'll, I'll be like, oh God, okay, this is this is a perfect take. And if I upload it and it does shit, I'll start questioning myself. I'm like, fuck, am I not funny? Well, yeah, and everyone then, does. But then I, go, then I go through this f period sometimes where I just have this like mental block. I'm like, this is it. This is done now. Yeah, yeah. I can't think of any ideas. Yeah, it's imposter syndrome. Imposter it's, it's syndrome. Because, it's because you've, it's because, look, let's have it right, lads. You've, you've, you've created a, re a really successful genre of comedy as well. Like what you guys do, I didn't, I, I didn't used to do. I had to sit on my own, like majority of my stuff on my own. And the way mm. that I shot things is completely different. You created another genre, like your POV genre. That's you, yeah, yeah. But, and also the way you work together and stuff like that, you know, and you're perfectionist, but the, what the what the problem that you can get sometimes is don't fall into the trap of thinking 
if it bought, if it, if it doesn't do as well, people are going to think that I'm slipping off mm -hmm. because sometimes you can lose some great work from that. Yeah, you know? you're right. Well, but, some of the best stuff I've that, deleted. That's what the yeah. fear is. Is the, I know. The, the fear is <laughs> the fear is not what's happening. It's it's the audience's perception. Yeah, that's isn't it? it yeah, because if they see low really numbers, matter. like I saw, I saw another one. Uh, he's well funny. That um, he, he, I can't remember. I can't remember his name, but he's funny. And he even put one up saying, "Man, I'm fucking dropping off." Mm. like uh, I'm bombing I'm dropping off and I remember seeing that saying like don't say that never say that mm. yeah. I wonder who that was then I can't remember well he does TikTok does he yeah huh. um, I, I can't remember know. his name but anyway um, really yeah, funny it, guy but um, you do lose a lot you do delete a lot like yeah, we'll thinking. spend hours on it as well oh, yeah and we like all of the boys will be together spend hours uh, and they've been there all day and you just yeah, go no yeah, yeah. And I, <laughs> yeah. I love it and I literally I, I'll just look at it and I'm the like the bad thing every, is though sometimes it's just the algorithm the time of day or the is, fucking, bro I've, I I've had one I uploaded it it did shit I uploaded it again like a year later like, I just saw it in my camera and it got like 10 mil yeah mm. it's just like there's so many elements that go into it mm. so we've got a hypothetical here uh, Mr. Daniel if you well this is for everyone if you all were to wake up tomorrow with zero followers and had to rebuild your social media presence from scratch across all platforms, who is more likely to get back to your current position? Who is more likely to just give up? I'm guessing that's, that's an interesting question. Uh, it relates to this. Relates well. to us, yeah. Um, that's a good one. Well, I, I, the thing is, you're kind of the only one that's done it yeah. out of us. Ooh, you true. have kind of... Come back yeah. up and fallen and come back oh, that's up. That's a tough one, you know. Yeah. So if, I, if it happened to if if, it happen, if personally if that happened to me again, I'd be out. Really, that really? This this is your point, last. Yeah, just because I've already made money and yeah, I've yeah, got right. businesses that run, and I just couldn't be fucked. Right, he's out then. <laughs> <laughs> me, me and Jack, he's up. Uh, go on. Who do you reckon, me and you then? Uh, so who is more likely to get back to your current position, position, and who is more likely to just give up? The thing is, he yeah. come up very quick in terms of like you were getting like 15 million views 10 million views yeah, yeah. so much and i was just getting like a, like um 800 to a million maybe consecutive mm. consistently right mm. so mine was very gradual but yours was a lot quicker, quicker yeah. um so i think again i'd be very gradual i wouldn't i wouldn't come up very quickly but i think oh, i don't know i don't think i'd give up I don't think I'd I give don't up. Think no, you guys, are, you, can, you got your whole lives ahead of you. <laughs> yeah, that's just, I mean, yeah, you've yeah, only got five more years yeah, left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you, you two have got full-blown addictions right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But no. the thing is, I actually think like, so the reason we kind of started this podcast is because this was like uh, a way to get that feeling back almost. Do you know what I mean? Because mm. TikTok now it's at a point where I don't get that feeling when mm. I post and it gets a certain number of views. But this, mm. we had to build from scratch. Yeah. And yeah. every time yeah. we posted, if we got, let's say, 30k mm. views on this, I was like, buzzing. Yeah, 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 buzzing. yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. It's, it's, yeah, it's because you're creatives, man. It's like, it's like, you know, it's, it's, it's easy on TikTok. You want, and you're growing. Like mm. a lot of the stuff you got. Remember, a lot of the stuff that you do is age relevant as well. Mm. I mean, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, mo it's moving a little bit now. But mm. when you first it, yeah. started, a lot of it's age relevant. So yeah. you're just growing. Yeah, hundred percent. Jack, would you have to scroll down on the old? I think, I think we'd both, I think we'd both be able to come back up at some level. I agree. I do, I do think we would, yeah. Mm. Plus, um, people know your faces anyway, so. Yeah. Well, but I don't know if, it, yeah, if we were cancelled. It's different if you're cancelled. Yeah. I mean, but did you know. find, when you said you apologised, did you find that? Made it worse, mate. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. So yes. I would never yeah. do that again. That's the, out of everything that happened back then. And I mean, I've done a lot of shit, right? So a lot of my vines, like, because I've got daughters now, I look back on some of my vines and I think, all right, all right yeah. I get it. Oh, yeah, because dear. I mean, I used to be fucking brutal. Yeah, like, yeah. I, I remember one of them was like, well, and I'd use actresses like you guys work with each other and I'd be like mm. going up to girls going, oh, look, can I, can I smell your fanny? And they'd be like, N no. I'd be like, must be your fucking feet then. Oh, like, yeah. Doing all these like r really like fucking hardcore, like close to the mark jokes. So I look back at some of them and I go, yeah, all right. Maybe they were a bit much. Oh, is it? Because like, now you've got a daughter you think about oh, I think I think maybe I influenced lads that would, yeah, would go that out would and it. go up to girls and then I think about lads doing that to my daughters and I think Ooh, yeah, 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 so yeah. it gets me so I get that yeah. but 
the stand up comedy and all that shit and then going on news night I'm like no I wish I never said sorry I just mm. I wish I just owned it and just was a little bit yeah because it because 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 when the context is taken because you could say something in one of your and do you know what right now because you're on TikTok mm. it's kind of all right mm. you know and yeah. but you ventured into you ventured well, yeah. into the main Twitter like is did. like the mainstream world right yeah. so you venture into there and then you become public property you start going on TV and then everyone everyone, everyone is allowed to decide what you are allowed to say not mm, you the thing yeah. is though so you were doing it back in like 2013 you said 13 14 yeah yeah do you because even when i since when I, so i've been doing tiktok for like three years right mm. when i first started i've i've noticed like a difference in like this whole cancel culture mm. like i've noticed when i first started i didn't even really see that kind of stuff or like this uh getting so offended at jokes or mm. like comedians, like Little Britain, everyone would watch, or Inbetweeners. Mm. I rewatched Inbetweeners the other day. Mm. And I'd I was never like, be able to do it now. That won't I happen know. now. But that's yeah. been like in like three, four years. No, I think I think the difference is, is that you're just seeing it now. Because we're in the industry. Because you're in the industry. You because, reckon, yeah. Because you got your finger on the pulse, but it's- So you were seeing it back then. Mate, in 2014, on my when my vines were going on Facebook, they were making the press. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is meant to be fun, isn't it? It's fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's interesting. I'm going to cry. Yeah. No, yeah, it's, uh, it is interesting. Yeah. It's, it is very interesting. Got to be careful, but yeah. But you What's have next? To, Come on, guys, let's make it fun. Sorry. Yeah, let, oh, actually, to be fair, we've got some fucking dad jokes. Okay. And you are a dad. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, here we go. And I feel really old here, man. This he makes some jokes as well. So <laughs> oh, that's, uh, great. he's going to be good. Whoever I, loses pops the Viagra. Um, <laughs> fucking hell, what? three lads in it. <laughs> oh, yeah. We actually, so actually, that brings me to the, the one thing. So we got some Viagra. Okay. Um, do you want it? Do you want to take uh, it? Do you want I'm to take doing it a now? gig after this. So I'll, oh, have someone's, no. I'll have someone's <laughs> eye out in the front row. What, do I want it as in like... Now. Well, we we had <laughs> one of our last guests, we were doing an experiment to see if he uh, got a boner during the podcast. I like that. Yeah. But um, no, I'm all right, lads. <laughs> right. Okay. Do fine. you want to do just, it? No. Do you want to do it? Have then? you ever done it? I don't think it'd work on me. It, that, it, listen, it takes... About, have you never done Viagra? Nah. No. Well, we're... 23 years old. Well, yeah, and also yeah. probably not avid cocaine users. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You need Does that, that get rid of your cock? No, yeah, cocaine, yeah. 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 So it looks like a bald man poking his head out of a bush when you had a couple <laughs> oh, of lines. Dear. It's like you fucking, you've got a flum in a, flum in a floppy with him. You need a shoe <laughs> on. That shit. Yeah. So you need okay. that stuff. Do you use this stuff? I used, to I used to crunch up the Viagra, put it in the coke and sniff the lot. Whoa. Really? Yeah, mate. And then fuck for about four hours straight. Does it, what, would one of these work? Yeah, mate, yeah. But your blood uh -oh. pressure goes mad as well. So you've got a raging headache, but you're horny. Oh. <laughs> you fucking have that guess is going to fucking die. Um, okay, so you were fucked for four hours. <laughs> I'm joking. Oh, you didn't fuck for four No, hours. no, you would. You'd have a boner for four oh. hours, but you but, but if you, you ain't going to find a bird that's going to let you drill out for four hours, well, then no, get, it hurts. So, you know, you got, you, you know, you just, you, you just got, you take, you know, a couple of minutes off and then bang another hour couple right. of well you can off. keep going one again and again yeah you, yeah, you just keep it you spunk it starts coming out like smoke it's mad <laughs> but <laughs> right I after like a little chalk cloud <laughs> <laughs> after like 25 minutes 20 minutes of sex for me I'm like I'm done I'm just I'm yeah I'm now. about yeah when you get oh. to my age it's probably it's about four minutes and you're like you know, you just want to make it look like you've made a bit of an effort. Mm. Yeah. And then and then you're out. Right. Because okay. you've done it me, by the time you've done it many times with this lady. Like I've been with my bird ten years. Oh, oh yeah. you might as well just end it now then. Yeah, yeah there's nothing new much one. she can, you know, ask her to put sank on or, you know, stick sank put on. Put it in her ass. Like yeah. Coming up here. Well, oh, she don't do that no more. We've got some butt beads if you wanna take them home. Again, for not on the podcast. I mean <laughs> <laughs> Well, have you ever got those uh butt plugs and they've got like a little tail attached to it? <laughs> oh, people do that now. People um yeah, yeah. Furries. They, no, 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 not even that. They oh. put this, what is it, like a little egg thing. It's and a then, butt plug and it's got a tail on it. So no, 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 not even that. You put it in and then you've got like a little app on your yeah, phone. and you can press it. Yeah. yeah. Have you so done you that? Can, I haven't done that. I haven't done that, but I can. I understand the thinking behind it. You can take your missus to like the fucking Natural History Museum or something. She's looking at a dinosaur next thing. She's spunking. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, but yeah. Surely your butt, <laughs> your ass, like... You, you you vibrate when you fart. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't. It can't feel that. Not good. quite the same feeling. Probably. Yeah, I think it's yeah. It's, mm. it's a tough one. Yeah. I wouldn't personally put little vibrating eggs up my ass. But you know the guy's G spot is in the ass. Mm. Yeah, I haven't found it yet. No, 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 not mine anyway. No, where's yours? No, I mean I haven't found mine. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> other men. Yeah, <laughs> it's a little joke. <laughs> Have you ever uh, been with a man? No, I haven't. Would I'm, you ever get with a man? 
Uh, no, it's not something that's crossed. I mean, I've had some mad sessions, but <laughs> it's not something that's uh, crossed my mind. Okay, threesome, you and your wife. I, I would never have a threesome with my wife. Okay, okay. Let's wife. go back, back in my day. Back, back in your for, day? Yeah. Um, Another man and, and a bird? Yes. Yeah, that's a, that's a situation that I'll, you know, but okay. there'd, be no, there'd be no touching or crossing no, of swords. No, you've got to hold hands. You've got to hold hands. Eye contact. Eye contact's all right, but only for like a... All right, mate. Yeah. Or like, like, five. Or like, or like, like hang in there. You're doing good. Yeah. <laughs> but, but not like a... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. well, yeah. Okay. But yeah. you, with a man, mm. um, depends how good looking the girl is. Right. Yeah. Oh, right. So what you're saying is you, you wouldn't have a threesome with a, with a minger. Well, there's no point. <laughs> right. no, 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 right, no, no, okay. and no, in terms what you mean is, is no. technically you don't want to have a threesome, but if she's banging, you'll do it. Yeah, I mean, oh. that's, that's like, uh, I don't want to have a threesome with a man and a girl, but I mean, if, if it was a really, really like 10 out of 10 girl that I'd wanted to have sex with, and then she only wants to have sex with me with this other guy, him, him, mm. then I'd be like, yeah, all right, let's do it. Fine. What, you do it with me? Yeah, I'll do it with you. Would you do it with me? I don't know. Well, no, she's like like ten out of ten. Like, you but know the thing mean? is, you or, two, you then you'd know your performance, yeah, you'd yeah. know your stats, uh, you'd yeah. know you'd know your stats yeah, as you in would. length, and you'd know your stats mm. as in performance. Yeah, but it might bring us closer. I don't think. I think it'd bring us further. It apart. could drive. <laughs> it could drive a wedge. You might look at each other differently. Yeah, once I you think, see, yeah. Because think about like if you both finished, and then we've got to just talk after that. Yeah, Ooh, I've awkward. seen a couple of my mates shagging, and I never looked at them the same again. It was weird. Really? Mm, yeah. yeah. <laughs> How did you see him shagging? Yeah, I can't really. Just, I've just seen it. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Do you want to read out some, some dad jokes? Go on, you read it. I did it in the last one. Okay, right. I did, I'm, <sighs> you might even know the answers to these. I probably will. He's a comic. He probably wrote them. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Okay, so I don't ever laugh at jokes. I don't know if you do. Mm. Um, They've got to be really obscene. Mm. I don't think these will be. Um, first one on the deck. Okay. Mm. <clears throat> How do you row a canoe filled with puppies? How do you row a canoe with a uh, paddle, something to do with a paddle. Oh, uh, bring out the doggy, doggy paddle. paddle. Go on. Ah, there right. we go. Okay. Comedians it's, at work. Uh, <laughs> right. Um, <laughs> today, my son asked, can I have a book? Mark, 11 years old, and he still doesn't know my name is Brian. That's all right. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> they're, they're really <laughs> not. Um, my wife is really mad at the fact that I have no sense of direction. So I packed my stuff. Well, yeah. <laughs> no, wait, no. Um, oh, yeah. I've said it wrong. But I said, so I packed up my stuff and write. <laughs> That's mental. It's really bad. It's really, it's really bad. I'll do one more. I'll do Don't one more. Don't even bother. No, I will. Okay. <laughs> um... Shit. Did you know the first French fries weren't actually cooked in France? They were cooked in Greece. Hey! Hey! Come on, All right, we'll have that one. We'll that have was, that one. Here we go. Still lads. not. Give us one of your best jokes. One of my best. Mm, yeah, come but on. I feel like stand up's different to telling yeah. a joke, innit? I suppose it is. Because people, I say, I went, when I went skiing, mm. uh, I got on this chairlift and this guy was like, oh, what do you do? And I was like, oh, I make comedy videos. And he was like, oh, go on, tell me a joke. Right. Like, oh, yeah. Piss it was off. Weird. Push him off the fucking ski lift. It's weird because I, like, you, I, you tell stories. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. Not like punchline gags. Not yeah. like, um, what's his fucking name? Tim Vine. Tim Vine. Yeah, he's brilliant. Yeah, he's yeah. brilliant. Although I don't, I don't, I still don't find him funny though. I don't really laugh that much mm. at stand up Did who's, you your, who's your on, favorite yeah. uh god um i don't know uh, my favorite growing up i don't know if you, you'll even know him lee evans you know lee yeah, evans he's my favorite yeah, 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 he's my favorite he's my favorite he acts, at the o2 because he acts, he acts yeah, yeah. He's and that's silly isn't he? that's that's how what, what i like to do when i do my stand-up is i like to like we're creating content mm. i like to tell a story but then become the characters on stage would yeah. you like to meet lee evans oh mate it'll be amazing yeah but, but I, he's he's He's, he's stopped now. Yeah. He he's did it for his uh, wife, right? Yeah, I what? think so. Yeah. yeah, he just he wanted to spend time with his wife. Yeah, but yeah. do that and yeah, that's you know, make some money, it's, mate. Surely, Jesus. when you're a it's hard comedian. man, stand up comedy is hard. Is really? it? Oh, yeah. go on, because people ask me and you all the time, would you do stand up comedy? Mm. Well, like to give you an example, like I start my tour in uh, at the end of January, and I started writing and rehearsing it a year and a half ago. 
Fuck it. So if you, if you imagine, if you imagine, if you write one one joke, what is it like thirty seconds to yeah. a minute? Oh my and you've got to do like an hour and a half. Is but, that how long your stand up is? Yeah, it's like an hour and a half. But like tonight, I'm only doing twenty minutes at this thing. But if you imagine how many jokes go into five minutes, but what you've got to do is you've got to spend so much time going on stage. You tell a joke, they don't laugh. You tell another one, they don't laugh. You tell one more, and normally if they're not laughing at the first ones, they're not going to laugh at the end ones, right? Mm. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, so it's like the, the difference. The main difference between stand up comedians that make it and that those that don't are those those stand-up comedians that can die on their ass for long enough to find the funny shit that's the only yeah. difference because you've got to find your funny shit and so you've uh -huh. got to go up run the material you pick one put it away pick one put it away and do that uh -huh. for about fucking six to eight months oh is that what so you go to like smaller clubs yeah see what works and then yeah. use everything that works in your bigger yeah yeah show. you put the put the stuff away that, that, that that's working okay. and then you put that into a section then you run that section then you finesse it, it takes a long time so what's it like when uh, you're saying like three jokes in a row and it's just silence. It's yeah, that's horrible. my worst night. Yeah, it's horrible. But also, like I was lucky really because I just wanted to say that I was a comedian. So when I was right. when I was younger and I was dying, even if I died, I'd come off stage and people would be like, "How'd it go?" I was like, "It's fucking shit," but like I'm still a comedian. Yeah, <laughs> Do you yeah. Know what I mean, so I had that the... that idea about it. So it was have right. you had a proper bad like? Yeah, I've been knocked out on stage, man. <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> okay, quite that's bad, pretty bad. Yeah. yeah. So why is that happening? I've got mate. I've, I'm brutal like my stand up used to be fucking I mean it's still quite brutal but you, uh, like hecklers I just fuck you up who man. would you compare yourself to like Jimmy Carr type Jimmy Carr maybe in regards to the level of wrongness yeah, but, but, yeah. but not like punchline punchline yeah, punchline yeah, more, mean, yeah. more like observational and, and yeah, stuff like yeah. that but yeah um, I'll tell you I had one uh, over in Cyprus because I used to do the, the the circuit in Cyprus before Vine and all of that all of that shit I used mm. to work on the cruise ships for years right, yeah. doing stand up comedy and then and I've done one in Cyprus and uh, there were it, I used to go to the, like all inclusive hotels and they were northerners because mm. uh, that's fucking Every, cheap, yeah, cheap cheap booze and all inclusive northerners and I got quite a cock like London accent so they hated me anyway and I don't want don't want there and this geezer straight away just shouting your shit get off and I, and I always I always used to fucking if, if a geezer was going at me I always used to fucking target his missus <laughs> oh, just, yeah. especially yeah. especially northern Miss birds, like, cause my, my bird's northern right and if if that normally what they do is they tell their fella shut up like mm. stop it yeah you know what I mean so <clears throat> I, oh. said, I said to him <laughs> I said, is, is this your wife, mate? And he said, yeah, it is. I said, what, is she your first wife? And he said, no, she's my second wife. I said, yeah, wouldn't it be my first choice either? Oh, okay, oh. all right. Yeah, and then he yeah, got yeah. up, <laughs> sparked me clean out on stage. You, you don't see him out. coming? You should have just uh, fucking no, mate, weaved was, him. You've been no, you didn't see him get up? No. Nah. Oh, no, I see him come, but... I didn't think he was going to hit me. And then the next thing I was getting picked up off the deck. You actually knocked out. Yeah, man. That is cold. the worst. Yeah. No, I mean, I did people worked. laugh at that joke? Yeah, I, I, I can't I was, I was I mean, asleep, was, wasn't I? <laughs> I was asleep. <laughs> wow. Is there a video of that? There isn't. No. Nah, but it's annoying. I got, um, there is a video of me getting knocked out in a bar. No, nah, I want to see what that. What did you do? What did you do here? I'll Why? have to try and find that video for you one day. <laughs> Why uh, did you get knocked you out? You get knocked there? out a lot. I've, I've been never been knocked out. What's it like being knocked out? Uh, well, I got knocked out this morning, actually. I, I, I'll show you off. Did you actually? Yeah. You're going to have... You, you suck at fighting. <laughs> yeah, Come yeah, on, yeah, what yeah, the hell? The That's why I'm training so hard. <laughs> Apparently, you're more did you susceptible. Know, did you know that I, I beat up Simple Simon? Yeah, I yeah, 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 I saw that. Yeah, I think yeah. I saw that. Was Aim that, high. How long yeah. ago was that? That was only a couple of weeks ago. Oh, is it? Oh, was it yeah. weeks? Oh, it was just yeah. weeks ago. Because you met up with it. I saw you a video. You a couple put. of weeks ago. Do you know what? He's actually really nice off camera. Is he? he yeah. puts a bit. He put. He plays this image online. But he wanted it with me. And misfits were just trying to find me a fighter, and they kept asking different people. And he was the one that wanted to do it. Mm, and I was right. like, all right, let's go. How old is he now? He's up there. Fifty it? sank. Yeah, yeah. fifty. Sank. Did you? Uh, it's only uh, ten what? years on me. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's quite young still. Like, you Ed Matthews out? was like twenty three. I put yeah. him down. I oh, put yeah. him down. Um, I put him down in like nine seconds. And then, oh, yeah. And then and then and then it went on for another sixty seconds. He went down another two times. Well, one or two times. Called it off. They stopped it. Yeah. Mm. Is he a yeah. ship fighter? He can't really box. No, but I, but uh, but he's fucking game like it's really scary getting in there and boxing like sparring this morning was scary. Every time I spar, it's scary. It's not. It ain't fun. Was it like a private thing? What with me and like him? the ring? How many people were there? What with simple Simon? Yeah, yeah. It was misfits. You know Misfits, a chaos. What, what were you, who were was, the undercard? It was at York Hall. There was, um, it wasn't a big show. There was, um, I don't even know the people. A lot of YouTubers. Oh, is it? I don't yeah. even know them. 
Like, but maybe, they maybe paid. I didn't see it. Yeah, exactly. Was it mm. green? Yeah. No, I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah Who else was on it? I don't know. Pizza Boy and some fucking other, I don't know, loads of, I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. But it was in, how many people was it in front of? Uh, there was quite a few people there, mate. It was York Hall, so thousand people, something like that. I'd be well so, nervous. I don't think I'd be able to go. The, walk, the walking down to the, yeah, to yeah. the ring. The, the, just the realisation that you're having a fight. That's why I'm saying that I've got a lot of respect for, for Cyberman because he don't give a fuck. Like, he was really? like, let's go. Yeah, walking down. I was fucking nervous. I've had, a, I've had an MMA fight as well. I had a cage fight with Harvey from So Solid. Mm. Um, uh, you had it already I had it yeah oh, back shit. in the day it was like fame MMA it was like celeb cage fighting mm. how did that go get knocked I out got my shit kicked out <laughs> of me man <laughs> well he he called out Ed Matthews in a podcast to go didn't well did I you? not yeah. called out yeah, I just of. said I uh, I just popped up to one of his stories and I just said uh, let's box mm. and uh, he replied Applied with uh, some voice notes and stuff. He wanted um, to do bare knuckle. Don't do didn't, that. No, no, I'm not. Uh, did he want to do bare knuckle? Yeah, in the back, gar back garden. He's maybe maybe he did. In yeah, I'm not doing that. No, back yeah, down. you're too pretty for bare knuckle. Yeah, mate. exactly. I'll not no. like him. Like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 man. No, but I would, I would, um, I would do it. I think it'd be fun. I think it'd be very uh, character but, building. Mate, listen, boxing is the best thing because it's like constantly you're doing something and it's helped me with addiction because you're constantly doing something that you don't want to do so you're overcoming mental like you're building mental resilience mm -hmm. like this morning like I've been doing it for a good 16 months now and still every time I spar three times a week and every time I've got to go through yeah. the ropes to spar there's just this element inside you you're like no nah, man I just don't want to do this and when it starts it's heavy it's like whack 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 it's like fucking heavy mm -hmm. you feel the shots and everything but you do it you come out and you're getting better and better and better and you come out and you're like yeah man I ain't made a glass that's fucking I feel good mm -hmm. yeah Have you knocked anyone out yeah yeah mm. i can fight man i'll show you some videos after yeah honestly yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> i don't oh, think you can fight i can fight not yet i think you need a you'd need training well yeah have like you ever had a physical anyone? altercation i uh no <laughs> but, <laughs> no no but when i was 13 i did go to boxing classes oh okay so i know a bit of the old fucking okay well, yeah, what about yeah. what about you you ever had a fight no nah. But that's why I think I wouldn't. I wouldn't be able to just go in there. What the hell? You always say oh, I'd fuck I think, you up. No, I could fuck you up. No, you couldn't because you've got no balance. That's the problem. Uh, you don't know my balance. I've seen your balance. See, this fight. is how I know you two ain't fighters because you don't normally talk about someone's balance. And you're gonna beat them up. <laughs> Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, that's true. He's like, he's like you've got if someone no comes balance. up to you in a bar and goes, "Bro, your balance is shit." <laughs> you know you're what like, I mean? Right, I'll okay. be knocking. Yeah. You know, you'll go up and go, "I'm gonna smash your fucking head in." Yeah, you get in a lot of like. Bar have you been in like yeah, fights before yeah 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 a lot, did you get lot. twatted up yeah I used to get my I used to um, my my mates are rough where I, I grew up on a council estate mm. so my mates fights are quite every day yeah m m not every day but my mates are quite rough and we used to beat each other up and then we used to have scraps with other people but my mouth mate used to yeah. I, like, I'm not I'm, I'm not afraid of getting a punch I'm not afraid mm. of getting a slap like I've been beaten up many times yeah. so to me when someone says I'll smash your head in I'm kind of like that ain't that bad to me do you know I mean so like I'm like if I'm gonna say something and my old man my old man he was he, he, he actually had a fucking dojo and he was a karate expert and he never taught me karate do you reckon though I is karate like I don't know if it's like real I don't fighting think it is. but I, I think boxing beats karate oh it bro I've done like I've done so many different martial arts and I do actually think like this is pointless. <laughs> yeah, they go like, yeah. But, uh, so I'm like, if you've done that in my boxing gym, someone's just going to take your head. No, no. But the thing is, in in a lot of them, like we did this one where it's like someone's coming at you with a knife, and you've got to do this and then twist their arm. And I'm thinking, no, you just who's run. coming at you with a knife like that? Yeah, do you know what I mean, it's I like hate them ones, but back. you do see that karate stuff online that looks pretty sick in that like arena where they fight. But what I hate is when they're teaching women where where the guy goes, oh, and they go, no, oh, get did back. <laughs> <laughs> did you see that that guy with? Uh, uh, he had like no arms and no legs and then he was doing like judo or something I, I think I saw yeah then, he was and, doing getting his belt yeah and then the other guy was like it's like oh come on you're not you're not winning mate you yeah, I mean, yeah he's armless yeah he's, <laughs> yeah, he's quick I bet he's quick, quick. Yeah, yeah yeah he said that way. he's been waiting for that, that yeah, whole that. I just wanted to get one joke in here <laughs> instead of all this misery to be fair yeah. people like the deep things yeah Do we've we? had a yeah we, when we, well, we had eyes are gone no, oh, they did like that. Like, they probably oh, would like it because a lot of our audience, obviously men, mm. um, young men, yeah, impressionable men. I'm like, I'm, like, I'm at a stage now, right? 
where I, I can I watch like I watch your guys, I watch all your stuff and I watch it and I'm like I watch it with like two eyes on I watch it with like man that's a great idea like mm. what you're doing is you're co- what you're do- and I can remember myself doing it I still do it now but I've got to put a lot of work into doing it yeah. but with you guys now your eyes are so fresh you're like you're you're what you're seeing, you're turning into comedy. You know what I mean? Mm, it's all yeah. it's all happening for you. For me now, it's like that time has passed. I've got to look for the comedy in in like what's going on in the news or da 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 because I'm like I'm just like an older family man and all that. And also my what I want to use my platform for is completely changed. Mm. Like I like I love the comedy and I love doing like like the stand up. What I'm doing tonight is my passion. Mm. But now that I've come out the other end of such a fucking quite an horrific time, mm-hmm. and also with the addiction on my platform, I'm like, mate, it's mental that I can put stuff out there and then people go, fuck me, that's helped me. Mm. So I'm kind of like getting old and moving. Yeah, I feel like that's yeah. what people would appreciate about this podcast. I hope so. Yeah, and uh, the, the have you? I'm guessing you've read Matthew Perry's book. Have you? Or not? I didn't. I bought it. Yeah, uh, but I've, I've, just, I keep buying books, and I've got like a read. massive. I've, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. God, I've got stupid. a massive backlog. Um, no, man, I, I did. I haven't, but I did. I done a. Um, I done a bit of a video on when he passed away because he. I, I, I think it's commendable I, on my podcast menace to sobriety anyone that's struggling with drink or drugs little and, plug there yeah no check plug. it out but um <laughs> i think it's i think it like it was really difficult for me yeah because I, I built my I, I got a lot of content around the sesh you know i had music about the sesh yeah. i had a song called like proper naughty sesh that charted it was like top 20 or something Fucking yeah and, and i had i got a character called the sesh gremlin that appears like every five i got all these like sesh yeah, yeah. and it was all about the drinking i even had a beer that i sold in lockdown it was a barrel of beer it's called it's Laugh fucking beer. everything yeah oh, man yeah. i fucking yeah made loads of dough which i feel bad about now because i'm sorry yeah. but oh, oh, wait oh, so yeah. what's going on with that beer business quickly i had to just stop it yeah because yeah. you're sober i think it's a yeah, bit morally, contradictory if I'm I, own, I own a nightclub as well but i've no changed, I changed yeah but i've turned it into comedy so i couldn't let that go because it's worth so much money but the the, the beer brand i just had to is the nightclub business difficult really hard mate yeah because it's so you're competing with like every like, fucking one right, yeah, yeah. Um, right now people prison. ain't but yeah it's like we we it's like a, it's an arch it's in clapham it's in clapham north it's called lit and it's an arch but i just give it to promoters so but if you've oh. got an event or da, 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 whatever just take it you know and then we they, go. Oh, they, they, they get they get the you, you get the ticket money and i'll get the bar so it's nice and simple is that how it works Wait, yeah we, we, we could use that start this? yeah years a couple of years three three or four years ago so you did it through lockdown and you made it out yeah well I, mate i fucking i bought it and we t- i bought into it and we rebranded it a, a f- like a, about six months before lockdown and then opened it a couple of months before then lockdown yeah because oh. even the bars in brighton where i'm from started going out of business yeah. the big bars yeah really. yeah well they fucked them because you still got to pay rent for two yeah years. yeah that's what i'm saying like, yeah. and it ain't fucking cheap but i mm. still i sat in there through lockdown drinking and sniffing gear so it, it? it didn't all go to waste but it probably wow. didn't help yeah but yeah. I, I changed it into like, a it's like comedy but yeah if you ever want to do events boys oh, oh mate bro, yeah yeah I'll be well up. Up. Oh, i've actually oh. what we should do like we should do something bro but like like a comedy thing maybe oh yeah yeah, maybe yeah yeah. do Do you know what you should do yeah if you so you don't have to write stand-up improv comedy where the audience tell you what to do we've got a mate he does not a bad idea isaac does that isn't it what isaac would be great at that oh yeah isaac does comedy doesn't he yeah yeah, yeah, he does stand up he does does, but he doesn't write anything he'll just do an hour of pure improv love that an hour he, yeah, he still does it. No, I won an he's, hour. He's slightly um, tapped in the head, isn't he? Yeah, 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 yeah I love a little that. Bit, but yeah. I love that. He, uh, yeah. It was about half an hour, I think. I don't yeah. think it was an hour. But yeah, we could we could do that. It's just improv comedy. People yeah. love anything. Boys, if you guys want to come down and never do anything down there, you just let me know, man. That would be sick. I love that. Guys, put in the fucking comments if you want to see me and Jack do a little mm. uh, little show. Dapper last will be there. Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah, yeah. he might come down. He might. Yeah, 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 I'll be there. But um, we haven't got that much longer left, so let's go into the game. We got a little game, right? So this is audience assumptions where you've sent in your uh, your pictures. We haven't seen them yet, right? Mm-hmm. We're all gonna rate what you do, your relationship status, what you drive, We're and your job. You but remember, so yeah. we'll put an email up here. It's right here. What we need you to do is send a selfie of yourself selfie of yourself yeah but we want you to put your your hand like this as an l so we know it's you and then tell us what your real life hobbies are whether you're in a relationship what your job is and what car you drive what car you drive all that shit boom Boom. yeah and then we're gonna assume assume and then reveal 
right? We'll guess your name as well, if that's there. Oh, yeah, we'll guess the name as well. Guess the name. All right, here we go. Oh. Look at him go. Okay, he... He is... Uh... That's, like, that's easy. I can, oh, go on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jump yeah. in, mate. What would you say his name is? He's a painter and decorator. Yeah. His name's Keith. Nah, no, it's not, it doesn't strike me as He's Keith. He's not Keith. He's like a... He's Kev. A, he's a Craig, I reckon. No, he looks like... He, do, he looks foreign. No. Nah. To me, he looks like Polish or Ukrainian. I don't know mm. about that. No, I don't think so. You don't think I so? Think, All right, fine. No, I think he's... Yeah, he's a painter and decorator. No, he's a plasterer. Yeah, nah, he, he's definitely. Mate, no, he's got a bit of blue on his top. He's a plaster. Yeah, but maybe he's just dirty. Maybe nah, he's just a dirty. He's a man. painter and decorator. His name's yeah. What's what it? is his name? Ricky. Dave. Rick. Maybe it's it's it like Rick. a generic name. Yeah, Ricky. Let's like, go with Ricky. Pint, Ricky. Like go down the pub. He sniffs gear. He yeah, sniffs he loves gear. gear. Um, I'd say he doesn't drive a very fancy car. Oh, he's gone. Um, he drives because the phone choice. Not going to go the phone, but. Usually, like someone is that who an drives, Android. I think that's an Android. He's an Android. Yes, right? so he's only just lost his virginity. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> right. I'm not having a go at Android users. Yeah, we know but his relationship status. He's single. Never yeah, had sex in his life. <laughs> 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 um, um, I would say he's single, but I would say he drives like a Ford. Do, uh, wait, do you look at his hands. Those yeah. hands have Got, been places. Not look yeah. at the knuckles. Not the, yeah, yeah. He, he loves to people. fight. Yeah. He loves to. He, he'll uh, have a scrap. Shit. He'll have a scrap. I'm going. I reckon. Yeah, Ricky, painter and decorator. Right. Yeah. Uh, At least a labourer of some sort. Yeah. yeah. I, he's, I reckon he's quite a handsome lad. So he's yeah, he's not, actually right. He's probably got a bird. I reckon he's in a relationship, but he likes a shag about. Gets a bit of attention. He's he definitely cheat, likes yeah. a shag about. Yeah, he cheats. Um, he okay. Cheats. And, and <laughs> what's, what's his hobby? Uh, football. No, mm. that's an easy one. Yeah, but he looks like he likes football. Or banging people football. out. Boxing, maybe. No, I'm going to say boxing. He likes banging yeah. people out. Yeah, to be fair, his boxing. knuckles. He's yeah, got boxing. Bo knuckles. Boxing. Okay, should we re let's, let's reveal. Yeah. Let's reveal. Danny. Is that Danny? Danny. 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 Oh. Dan, yeah. He's in a relationship. He's in yeah, a relationship. Nice. He's a self-employed house renovator. Oh, oh, house renovator. Oh, that's uh, that's self-employed house renovator. That's everyone. a painter and decorator. Yeah, that's, that's literally that's it. He's just, a fancy he's just come up with a new name for that. <laughs> yeah, the yeah. CEO of Plaster. Yeah, okay. this ain't a dating website, mate. Just say it as it is. <laughs> he drives a van. He drives yeah, a van. Yeah. Okay, yeah. And his hobbies are boxing. Oh, oh my God! His hobbies boxing. Oh. His hobbies boxing. Playing piano, faking and building. Playing piano, fingers. With them stuff. How big is piano? Yeah. If by playing piano he means fingering birds, all right. <laughs> we've actually just I can't believe that. just the name we got wrong yeah, yeah. literally just the name alright next one there's right, three of these one, right? here we go oh, oh here we go right, here we go. go so this man looks like he looks like um, he's got a weird smile he looks like that um, fucking cereal uh, <laughs> that Jeffrey clown Dahmer. no 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 the clown oh, um, one um, yeah yeah the clown one. Oh, um, the one the one, the, 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 the men Will Gase, Gacy Gacy uh, Gacy John Wayne Gacy John Wayne yeah, Gacy yeah cereal <laughs> so he, so we've already insulted him. Uh, so he's a serial. He goes he, to the gym. He's got headphones on. Mm. You can use headphones for anything. He doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't look overly buff. <laughs> no, I'd say he's got. He's a sleeper builder. He's got. Uh, I reckon he's like a de uh, what are they called like a power lifter. Power lifter. He looks mm. like a power. What do you reckon Daps? Um, mate, I, I reckon this guy. He, he he actually works in an office. He's one of them big teddy bears. Big you reckon? Yeah. yeah, actually, yeah. I, I think I think he's like I think he works in IT marketing or something like that. Okay, but I think yeah. he works in Tesco's. Oh, okay, maybe <laughs> John Wayne Gacy in Tesco's. Um, um, and his hobby, his hobby is uh, running and gym. Maybe not running. I think. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, why, mate. Why not I don't running? Need to be rude. <laughs> <laughs> no, I reckon his hobbies are like gaming. Ooh, oh, maybe. I reckon yeah. he's a gamer. Yeah, but why has he got headphones on? For he, gaming? Yeah, for, he likes he's in a car. Nintendo Switch. Mm. He's in a car. He's mm. got the Switch. Mm. Maybe. All right, I'm, I'm going to say game as well. And his name, what's his name? Ben. Oh, Ben's good. What, ben. ben. He, I, I'm going to go for Stephen. I'm going to go for, uh, I'm, I'll go Ben. And then lastly, was he drive? Does he drive? He's in a, it seems like he's in a passenger seat. Mm. He's got VW Passat. <laughs> right, it's very, that, very. Um, does he drive? No, no. Actually, he's got. What's he got? He's got a little golf. Yeah, he's got it's like a, a Corsa. Show. I reckon he's got a Corsa. Corsa from okay. back in the day. We'll yeah. go with that. We'll I'll go with that. Course. Okay. What's his name, producer? Josh. 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 Another basic like name. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh, no offense. He's engaged. He's engaged. Oh, oh, we, we didn't ask. Say. We didn't say. He's engaged. He looks oh. alright. Yeah. How? Oh, we haven't asked his age. For fuck's sake, have we? He doesn't say his age. Damn it. Okay. So he's engaged. He works in a warehouse making paint. 
He ah, works in a warehouse, warehouse making paint. I was paint. way off. What did we, way well, you off. said, said IT. Oh, yeah, I thought he was educated. We, what, did, <laughs> no, what, did, what did we <laughs> say? Okay, okay. Oh, I said educated. Tesco. Sorry. Go on then. Uh, next one. Yeah, uh, hobbies are rugby and golf. His hobbies are rugby and golf. Uh, he looks like a golfer. Course. Yeah. He drives a Ford K.A. He drives oh, a Ford K.A. That's, that's close to a bad. That looks like a horse around Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think could, he looks like a legend anyway. Yeah, he, he looks does. like a legend. Yeah, I like him. Thanks for sending He's it in. He's the guy that everyone gets on with. You can yeah, tell. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Josh, you're a great guy. Mm. Um, just don't any people. Right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, thanks, Josh, for sending it in. That's brilliant. Next next and last one, we've got. Oh, uh, he's a bit easier, I think. Mm. I know him. What? He has a setup. Oh, is he? You yeah, know yeah, him. I know him. Yeah. What do you mean you know him? I don't know what he does. I don't know. What he, I don't really know. How any. do you know? Him? You've seen his face. Uh, he went to my school. Fan? No, he went to my school. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, what? yeah. You know his name? Yes. So I'm not going to say his name. You okay. guess his name. Uh, he looks like. Uh, what school did you go to? Philip Morant. Is that a private school? Is it? No. What? It, well, does he look like a private? He does mm, a bit. He does he, a yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. The haircut. He did this thing called Green Power in school, which was like. Proper nerd. He's watching this now. Probably, it's quite a nerdy thing to do. Yeah, he looks right. like he'll be part of like the school count. Was he a prefect? Uh, can yeah, you walk, prefect. please? <laughs> yeah, yeah. The teachers. I don't actually know. I don't well, know what he does. I don't know what he draws. I don't know much about him now. Okay, so this I is think, all free reign. Uh, he looks like he's a bit of an activist. Okay, mm -hmm. what do you mean by that? Like he's got, he's Climate. like, he, yeah, he's like he's he's solid on his beliefs and like politician. Mm. Okay, Olympic. could okay. be politics. He looks like a just a oil protester. That's, yeah. Just a oil, but okay. He yeah. looks like a mixture of a just a oil processor and Hitler. Processor, processor <laughs> and Hitler. Because <laughs> of yeah. the beard, because of the little tash. Yeah, yeah he's got a little wrong tash. Lip. Um, what do you reckon he does for a living, though? Uh, uh, I reckon he's in uh, like finance. Oh, I don't know. Maybe yeah. something where you know words. What do you know words for? Lawyer. Mm. I don't think he's a lawyer. He might have a law degree. A lawyer. Or in a teaching assistant. Oh, teacher. Like teacher. He looks I'd like say teacher. teacher. Yeah, he, he looks does. like a teacher. Or an assistant. Teacher and it, his name, Greg. Greg. Okay, Greg. Uh, it ain't Greg because he didn't. <laughs> that uh, might be. Kevin, uh, Stu, Mark. Wank, Bobby. Name Bobby. I'm not going to say. Jack. Dean. It's Harry. Harry. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, he's got a shit Harry, hairline. very old school name, Harry. <laughs> yeah, it is. What he drives. What does he oh, drive? And his it. hobbies. And, is it, and if he's single as well. Do you I, think he's single? Mm, nah, he's got one of those girlfriends who likes walks. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Or likes, she's got like traveling in her bio kind of girl. I reckon so. And reading yeah. books, they love reading at night. Like a hippie girl. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Kind of hippie. Do you think so, Daps? Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. we'll go. Okay, he's taken. All right, what's he his hobby? The, okay. Uh, oh, his hobby. Yeah. Um, Cycling, football. I would say football. You reckon football? Five side football. I, I would say that as well. I would oh, say well, that. You as kind well. of know him. Then. No, no, I don't. I don't well, know maybe what he does. Golf. Well, I do kind of, know him, but I don't know I what the fuck he does. Imagine him swinging a golf club. Hmm. Oh, actually, no, that's good. Yeah, golf. I'm changing <laughs> to golf. You still sticking with football? I'm going for football, and I think he drives a Land Rover. No, he's a, a nah. Land Rover. He's 26. 26. He, he's. I think he's driving like a BMW One Series. Okay. Yeah, I'll go for that. I think he's like driving a, a poet. I think he's driving a golf. Okay. Um, and is that, have we covered them all? Okay, go on. So his name's Harry. What does he do? He is an aircraft engineer in the Navy. <gasps> wow. He's an he's aircraft Navy. engineer is, in the Navy. That is a wicked, man. That's very good. Sorry, Wait, what Harry. Does his, what does his t-shirt say? Yeah. Is that a... It does look like some sort of military. Actually, aircraft yeah, engineer in the Navy. That. that is wow. sick. That's really good. Harry, I forgot about that. Because I didn't know it. But <laughs> well done. Um, Okay, what's his hobbies? Uh, Jim. Jim. Mm. Mm. I, I knew it was, he looks He's lean. Active, yeah. yeah. He active. does look lean, but I, I, I think, Harry... You need to bulk up a little bit, Mill. No, but maybe he's got the lead. He needs to be lean if he's engineering shit. Yeah, that's you, so you can go through all the yeah, fucking he pipes. Want his muscles getting in go the way of the, the pipes. spanners and that. Okay, is he single or is he taken? He's single. Oh, poor guy. Poor guy. <laughs> Loser. <laughs> Joking. Joking. Uh, and what's the last one? What is he... Oh, Audi an Audi A3. Mm. He drives an Audi A3. Sorry, it's an alarm. Uh, Audi A3. Okay. Mm. I drive an A1 at the moment. Shit, I need to get rid mm. of it. I drive the newest one, but he does. Yeah. What uh, do you drive that one? Uh, I've got a couple of cars. I've got, oh, I've got a Mercedes C63. Don't know what it nice. looks That's like. Very, it's, a, it's a very fast, like, sort of Mercedes. And oh, I've got nice. a McLaren, actually. You got a McLaren? How much money did you make back in the fucking day? <laughs> Jesus. Oh, well, he's got the club, doesn't he? Mm. 
Yeah. Um, well, no, it's a comedy club. Oh, well, it's doing really, all right yeah. now. Doing all right now. Hey, you Clarence. could just give up. So you could no realistically, point. you could just say what you want now. If you get cancelled, you got McLaren. Yeah, you got everything. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, fuck off, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Harry, you're a fucking loser. <laughs> <laughs> Joking. Um, okay, well, that's the end of that. Um, do you yeah. think you'll make a lot more? Have you made the bulk of your money now? Do you think, or do you think you'll make oh, a lot more? McLaren, he's good. Uh, yeah, but he could make way more since he's got the experience and all these assets and shit. I don't know, man. Question. I've got businesses that pay. I've set up a lot of businesses through the years. That's smart, oh, though. How many businesses you got? Eight. Eight in what? In like everything. Basically, throughout the years, all the like when you boys are getting brand deals, well, you should be. Well, I'm not going to tell you. No, no, go on. No, please do. No, no, please. What what I did throughout the years is every time I got a brand deal, when they went well, like when the brands wanted more, and I, I worked out that my demographic was feeding into that sector. So I tried to create. So if just not, you know, it was when drinks companies wanted me to come, I was like, right. And when it went well, I was like, right, I need a drinks brand. When I, when I was doing events, I was like, right now I need a nightclub. When I was doing like other brands, clothing brand, da, 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 whatever went well, I was like, I've got to create my own or invest. When the companies come to you as well and they offer you big money, mm. if you can take percentages of the business instead of the dough for like longer, bigger can you do that? brands. What the fuck? You can do, I've yeah. So, so like shares in the company? New co- yeah, if they're new up and coming companies with loads of marketing budget, ask for percentages instead. Oh, there's some companies genius. that I took, there's some companies that I took like five, six percent of that, that pays me obscene amounts of money. That's the fucking genius. Can you say? No, nah, because I don't want my wife to know. <laughs> <laughs> Will she watch this? What yeah. is your like big? Would you say your businesses make you more than the social media and comedy stuff now? Yeah, uh, the businesses definitely. Yeah, the businesses businesses make me yeah got really. What's money. your biggest one? The club? No, no. What's your I've biggest got, business? I don't. I can't say because I can't I've say. Got, nah, I don't oh, want to. But I've got. I've got. A, I've got um, a, a, yeah, a couple. <laughs> Can we bleep, what if we bleep it out? Oh yeah, because I actually genuinely want to know. Or are you, are you not allowed? You don't want to. No, it's it's. Uh, I've, I've got an. Uh, uh, I created an affiliate business. Let's just say that affiliate business to mm. a massive brand. Wow! Um, but yeah, it's 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 a it's a tricky one. Affiliate yeah. marketing—that's a big thing, right? It's now. Huge. Yeah. You are very um, smart. In, you're yeah. switched on. There's very a few. Smart. There's loads of different ways to make money, boys. But the best way to make money is to get someone else to make it for you. Did you exactly. when you first made money? So how old were you when you first started making money? Well, I made a little bit of money when I when I got my TV show, like 40, 50, 60 grand. And then I was getting like a couple of thousand pounds an appearance, which turned into like, you know, I was doing like two, three of them a week. So that, that was like my first sort of taste of money. Mm. But I didn't make serious money until after I got cancelled because I couldn't do comedy. What do you really? think serious money is? Because it's all subjective. 60 grand is serious money to a lot of people. I don't know. Serious money, like a million plus a year. <sighs> Fuck. That, that is, that is pretty, serious. pretty serious. Yeah, I'd say this. Yeah, that's yeah. Pretty, yeah. Were you intelligent when you started with your money? Or did you get a financial no. advisor? No, no, no. Mm. no you you no. spunked a lot of it. I spunked a lot of it. I, my first, I spunked all of it. I got, yeah, I lost all my money when I when I lost my TV show and everything like that. And I got sued. So I was like minus, minus money. I guess you can't say how much you got sued for. N- I don't know. Probably best probably not to. Probably not, yeah. But okay. I, because, yeah, because I'm back on tour with, um, Mm. yeah but um yeah. <laughs> but my first my first bit of dough after i got after i got f- um cancelled and everything like i was on my ass i was actually living up in manchester in my fucking birds in, in my in-laws house on so my birds mum's house mm. in their fucking in their little oh. box room with she was pregnant and i had a beagle i'd had a nice flat and everything down in clapham and i'd lost everything i was bang on all of that and my head was gone and i ended up oh, moving up to man. manchester and i was in that room and then like somehow I managed to start making a bit of money. I think it was Big Brother, my first bit of money, 80 mm-hmm. grand I got for going in Big Brother because I turned it down a few times because I was... Yeah, you thought you were big... My head, yeah, being in a fucking like social like experiment, a, a psychological yeah. experiment on TV, mm. I was fucked from my dad passing and everything yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. But I turned That's it down. I managed to turn mad. it down so many times that in the end they offered me... More. More. That's mad that you came back from, I know, from yeah. that, yeah. from zero... To now, McLaren, yeah. eight businesses. Uh, unbelievable. Gonna, what's the most stupid purchase you've ever made? Have you got like, were you like buying like big, like silly things or was it just little things 
Hey. Mm, no, nah, I've always been. No, nah, I've always been like I bought watches and stuff like that, but they're quite good investments. Yeah, yeah. If you can keep them, I've got one watch. Yeah, yeah they're good investments, boys. If you can keep mm. them, supercars ain't Mc, the McLarens. That's no. a silly. But that, the McLarens depreciate. That's a lot, depreciated. Yes, yeah. so and the McLaren was kind of like um, I wanted to sort of show that I was doing well, so mm. it was a bit of a silly purchase, but. It, fuck it yeah you want fuck it. it do you know what I mean <laughs> yeah fuck it yeah, you find that people hate on you for having a McLaren that that they do now that there's such a cost of living crisis and stuff yeah. going on so it is a bit showy but at the end of the day like you know I don't know I wanted it I, I feel fucking that last, last couple of years have been tough man well exactly fucking treat yourself you yeah, know what I mean you're so, not gonna be here forever and I think that yeah, because I know there's a cost of living crisis, mm. but that doesn't mean the people that are doing well don't can't well, treat themselves. The thing I've never to. got, yeah, when people get angry at people who are wealthy, right? Mm. They always get annoyed. Let's say you buy a McLaren, mm. right? But surely it's better that you're putting that money back into the economy than mm. just saving it in your bank account. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's it's a fucking weird one. It's like I get it a lot. It's all right for you. It's all right for you. You're, like they people think, yeah. people just think it because because you've been on TV and yeah. you've got a big social media. You're famous. That's what they think. Right? It's all right for you. You're famous. It was easy for you. I get up at four thirty every morning. Really? Yeah. Every morning I'm up at four thirty because I'm in the boxing gym by five thirty. And then yeah. and then and then when I get back for like seven eight, I help the missus with the school run. And then I'm fucking up until twelve one o'clock. I'm stacked with meetings with all my business partners mm. or like whatever. I imagine, yeah. I've got a film production company. We we create like I'm I'm on it like constantly up until about about five six o'clock every don't take a day off i'm grafting people that's the thing people don't see it yeah, it's, yeah. And, and trying to be fucking funny yeah the content and the, yeah pe when people don't see it and they just think oh you make uh videos online yeah, oh, i had so someone one of my mum's like uh, old friends came around and i was just uh i was there and uh, i was around at the same time they came around and then she was like Oh, she heard I made videos and she was like, oh, are you still making your little videos? Yeah. Oh and I was like, God. little video? Yeah. I make more than you, you little fuck. Yeah, yeah. Mm. The best thing you want to do, have you built any businesses yourself yet? That's I, we've I just got our own businesses that all the money goes into. But yeah. Yeah, we need yeah to like a limited company yeah, that yeah, you can yeah, pay yeah, yourself yeah. out. <laughs> no, but what you, what you want to do, what, I don't, I'm not trying to say, but the, one, no, of the, one of the businesses that I set up like, around 2014 2015 will pay me forever now no matter what mm. so that's why you know when we were saying before about would you carry on doing it i'm like mate i'd do the stand up but to rebuild the following like i'm kind of like no, you've yeah, done it ch now. i'm yeah, chill yeah. um but that took so long to build but once it once it was up and running it's like a pension it's like it's going to mm. pay my kids yeah so you know it's like i don't have to work yeah but on that particular one yeah yeah yeah. so and the way you've got to do that is you've got to find something that you're like you're truly interested in mm. and slowly promote it if you want as as a brand deal doesn't have to be yours mm. yeah, it yeah, can yeah. Be, i've done that many times as a brand deal or you know like try this or your fa your fans and followers will be more invested in something you are in than anything but else when you're starting these businesses like do, will you just solo it or do you like build a team to help you i always find I always so always I, it always happens the same way someone will come to me either with an idea mm. um or or someone will come to me to promote their business Mm. and you know i'm not saying i'm a genius normally what i'll do is go that's a great idea you're the brains i'll have a certain percentage of it i'll market it i'll own it and you do the fucking graft on it do you know what i mean well, that so if say for instance someone comes to you with a clothing brand that they're starting up and you really fucking liked it you could say look i can turn you know i can turn it from this to that but i want a percentage of it instead yeah. of the fucking money up front have you had any fail yeah, many, many. Yeah, because that's many. what people don't see as well. Many, yeah. I had, um, I had, uh, yeah, I could list off loads of brands and and ventures and stuff that I tried that fell loads, mm -hmm. loads. But the ones that have worked have worked. You know, yeah, I, yeah. I only want to put a couple of years into it and then mm. step back. Wow. That yeah. I was going to ask about that waking up early thing as well. Mm. Do you do you do that as like? Because I know people say you see on all these Instagram pages that that helps with like mentalness, mm. mental health. Yeah, I think for, it does. for me, it keeps me sober because the evenings are like the fucking demon to me. Like mm. I don't, I, I oh, don't really? like, oh, I don't like, it, yeah, so. I don't like spare time in the evening. But, <laughs> but it's so important for me because because I'm like. I got diagnosed with ADHD and I'm fucking mm. like heavily into really overthinking, you know, like how you get with your videos. Yeah, yeah. I'm like that with everything. So 
when I get up in the morning before my missus and my kids are up and everything, I sit, I write my diary and I write out all the things that are fucking buzzing in my life. I just mm -hmm. like, yeah, I've got this film coming up. I've got my fucking tours almost mm -hmm. sold out. I write it all out. Yeah, I fucking, yeah. I put it all in front of me and I'm like, yeah, I'm a fucking, I'm a legend. Then I go out and I burn off the fucking, the madness in my mind with mm -hmm. the fitness. And by the time I come back, I'm like, man, Calm, yeah. like, this day is going to be sick. Yeah, yeah. Do you do ice baths? I, unfortunately, I don't one of them guys, yeah. You do, yeah. Well, no, I think they're fucking amazing. Yeah, yeah they sort yeah. you out. I yeah. shower. I, I haven't done ice bath yet. But no, I, you I, I do. No, no, I haven't. I do an ice shower in the morning. Yeah. Well, I hope so. Yeah. What do you mean you shower in the morning? Ice shower. Oh, ice. Well, not ice oh, shower. Right. Cold, cold shower. shower. That sorts you out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I used to follow. I used to do all that stuff. Mm. And I don't know why I stopped because that was like the best time of my life. I'd wake up early. I'd go to the gym. And then I used to do that Wim Hof breathing. I'd have a cold shower. I would do that. Well, I would do it like where I write three things that I'm grateful yeah, for. Gratitude I'm list, grateful yeah. for. I'm grateful for. Mm. And I... I was that that morning, like there was no possible way for me to feel down. Yeah, and then yeah. the rest of the day, I'm like, oh, I can do anything. My, 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 honestly, I worked out a long time ago that my baseline way of living is depressed. It is mm. like my my mm. base, like my baseline, my my set way of living. If I don't work on myself, maybe isn't depressed, but it's worrying. Yeah, it's like uh, I get into a worry, worry mm. thought loops. What if this happens? What if that happens? What if that doesn't happen? Da -da. And I get yeah. like that. So now, like my mantra is beat the day before it beats you. So mm. I know if wow. I just do a certain amount of things in the morning that I'm set for the day. I'm just mm. set, you know, I just yeah. tackle it. See, yeah. I wonder, because I feel like that would help me get enough hurt. Creative wise as well, once I come out of boxing and that, mm. you know, I'm running, I love running, but if I get rid of all of that fucking nervous, anxious energy or overthinking and that my mind's just clear for so fun. So you think like getting up, going to the gym, getting a bit of fitness. You in. should do that. I personally think that you should be taught to kids in school, you know, before mm. your thoughts start running away with you because you know what you're like. You can start thinking of something negative and it can consume oh. your whole oh, yeah, fucking day. Whole day. Yeah, yeah. You know, yes. you can nip that in the bud straight away. What That's time what do I you mean. go to sleep? I'm normally in bed about eight, mate. Fucking okay, hell, no See, wonder you get up so early. I mean, yeah. actually, you have the same thing. I, I love it, though. I go to bed at like three, but yeah, I, I have that thing where... Three at night. Yeah, in three the in the morning. morning. And I have <laughs> that <laughs> thing, though, where I actually can't sleep because I just... I always yeah, lay there too. and my brain will be going crazy. I, I, It won't stop for hours. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. I have to get tired and then I sleep. Mm. Like, yeah. It's 3 a.m. Do you read at night? No. Uh, yeah, I do read it. Yeah, and you should you but, should also write everything. You know what? Sometimes if you're an overthinker, this is what I learned about my brain as well, is sometimes our mind is remind our mind is reminding us of something. Mm. It's just reminding us. So it's saying like fucking hell, remember that idea of fucking hell. Yeah. Maybe you've got to do yeah, that is, tomorrow. Yeah. Fucking hell. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, so and so said that. Oh, I remember that. And da da da. Sometimes at night, if it's really bad for me, I'll, I'll write it down and your brain kind of goes, oh, I've you remember you've now. fucking yeah, got yeah, it. Yeah, you've got yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, sometimes I'm in bed and then I've, so I've got a whiteboard up. You should get a whiteboard, actually. I might get mm. one of them for Christmas or something. Yeah. And then I put it on my wall That's and good. I'm in bed. So I'm looking at the whiteboard. I'm like, okay, I've got all them things to do tomorrow. tomorrow. And then if something comes up, I just get out of bed and write it Bang. down. Yeah, yeah, get rid of it. Yeah, 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 get rid of it. And you don't have to worry about it anymore. Yeah. Yeah. So but definitely, definitely working on, working on, uh, I know we're running out of time, but working on yeah. your well being is. Um, 100% sank worth it. So guys, there you go. That's that's Dapper Laughs. I mean, that's a lot of uh, good Fucking information. That is yeah. good. That very, was very good. I hope I, you liked it. Um, yeah, people were saying they wanted more deep chats. Yeah, and I think we we, we bloody Hit got that. So put in the comments if you if you like this uh, these chats and what what should they say at this point? Do you think, uh, what comment should they leave? They got, if you got to this... Leave? We always get... You can give them something. So we always say... A random comment. If you get to this point, say this in the comment section. If you get to this point, why don't you put in the comments three things in your life you're grateful for? Yes. Come on. Yes. There we go. That's brilliant. Come on. We were going to say like your dick size or something, yeah, but that's yeah, better. Yeah, that's better. way better. Right. Okay. What? Where can they find you? What are you doing? Oh, yeah. Cool. Come and find me on Instagram. I love my Insta. I'm just about to hit a million on TikTok, actually, but I recently got a, I recently got a little um, strike. Oh, mate. Just fucked I, my ass. Fuck I've been getting shit. so many recently. Do you, do, you get, do you get that where, it's, where it says your account has a warning? It says red. Yeah. Does that, red does that take you off the For You page? I think it might. It can for a bit. Yeah. How long's a bit? We've had it on the you podcast. Week. We only recently got it off, didn't we? Yeah, we only recently got it How off. How did you get it off? 
Oh it's man! Surprised. But anyway, it anyway. Surprised. But I'd love to do some content with you boys. If yeah. you, I'd yeah. love to yeah. do some videos. That'd be amazing. Yeah, be um, unreal. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do yeah. that. And your tour, you got a tour. Oh yeah, tour coming up. Come see me. I'm coming to your local town. Come, come watch me. Just get on my Instagram. What DM me for the ticket link or look on the link in the bio. But I am on TikTok as well. So you know everything. It'll everything. be in the bio anyway. Wicked uh, man. And the, thanks for having me. Big no fan. Worry, big fan of you, mate. Big fan of you. OG. See you later, everyone. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye.